What up everybody, Tim Castleman, TimothyCastleman.com. Here today I want to show you how I shoot easy screenshot videos. You know, a lot of people don't like to do talking head videos where you stand in front of the camera and have to look all nice or, and pretty and uh, talk and blather on. A lot of people prefer to do screen capture videos. And I see a lot of them out there and most of them are halfway decent, but there's some minor tweaks and tips that you can do and make sure that you have a high quality video as a result. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So I'm actually showing you right now Microsoft PowerPoint, okay? And uh, we're going to talk about everything in detail. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go ahead, make this thing full size. Perfect. Now you can see it right there. Get all fancy with you. Okay, so here's the tools that I use. Microsoft PowerPoint, as you can see, that's what this program is right here. I also use XMind if I'm doing kind of a mind map presentation. I use a USB headset. You can use uh, regular ones. You can even use the ones on your actual laptop or even some desktops have them now. However, I just have always found a USB headset works best. I'm actually using a Microsoft Live Chat headset. It's the LX300 for this presentation. Background images, we'll talk about that just in a second. And then also what you're going to be recording the actual screenshots for. Uh, I use Camtasia. I have Camtasia 6.0. Works great for me. I know a lot of people use Jing, which is a totally free resource, or Cam Studio, which I believe is another free resource. So let's talk about setting it up. The first thing you've got to do, okay, is you have to close all your background programs and chat sessions. Uh, if you're like me, you probably have Skype, maybe Google Chat, even maybe Yahoo uh, and a couple other instant messengers. You've got to close those down. One, because I find them to be pretty big resource hogs on your computer. Um, but two, it's inevitable. The one time that you want to shoot videos, what's going to happen is it'll pop up and it'll show that, hey, Tim's on online now and you know you can talk to him and it just kind of screws up all your work. Um, also, you want to be able to set up PowerPoint and I'll show you exactly how I set mine up in just a second and XMind as well. And then of course you want to set up camp. Okay, so here we are with a brand new PowerPoint presentation and here's exactly what I like to do. I like to first go to page setup and change it from the 4x3 to the 16x9 and what that does for me is it just gives it that high definition widescreen look. So that's uh, tip number one. Tip number two is I actually like to format the background of these and I use... Okay, so what I like to do is I like to uh, get backgrounds that I've already paid for and I actually got these as part of a graphics package. So let's just kind of look at one of them. In fact, I kind of like this one. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Basically, you insert it, and if you like it, if you're like, oh man, okay, I really like that, I want to continue, I want to do all of them like that, then you would just sim simply apply to all. Let's say you didn't like it and you wanted to kind of try a different one, right? Maybe you wanted to try this one right here. You say, okay, eh, you know what, you know what I'd really like is just kind of one of these gray ones right here. Let's do that. Perfect. Okay. So now you've got your background. Then what you can do is you can format your slide. So if you want this to be a certain color, you just kind of go over, pick your color and say, uh, testing one, two, three. Now that doesn't look bad. Three and I type a four. Ha <laughs> Right. Uh, so, but let's just say you wanted to do that, right? Make it bigger and bolder, okay, and then you can change this and uh, gray font looks bad, all right? Hard to uh, type and talk at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, but let's just say you wanted to do that one, okay? And then uh, if you like it, that's totally cool. Uh, what you do then is I just simply do this and then I copy and then paste. And the reason I do this is it saves me having to format the next slide. So do that, good to go, okay? Slide one, now this is slide two, I can change it. And also, if I want to, I can also just format the slide or the layout. So say I want to just do uh, that with a, a heading, bam, there you go. And now I've got it formatted for the entire thing. So really easy, really quick ways to make your slides look professional. And then of course when you pop them up full screen like that, bam, it just pops and it covers the whole screen and it just looks very professional for me. So that's one other thing I like to do. So we'll go ahead and close this and go back to our main presentation here. 
then finally what I do is I set up Camtasia. Now you can't see it because it's designed not to be seen, but right now I have Camtasia set up to cover all of my screen except for my toolbar. And all you do with Camtasia or Jing or anything like that is you just simply go through, select the area you want to record, highlight it, and then hit the record button. The cool thing about Camtasia is it's got a pause feature so that if I cough or screw up, I can simply, uh, you know, if I feel a sneeze coming, I can hit F9, bam, good to go, and when I'm done, I can just start right back there. Uh, if you don't have that, what I recommend you do is you take a pause. So let's just say you screwed something up, then you go, ah, I screwed that up, and then pause for two or three seconds, and then start right back up. That way, when you're editing it, right, you'll know, okay, I screwed up right there, let me go ahead and get that fixed. So let's go back to full screen here, and keep going with the presentation. Now, uh, a couple other little things, okay? Mic placement. I currently have my mic, I want you to imagine it's an over-the-ear microphone, but I currently have the mic not at my voice, but pointed almost towards my nose. And the reason is, uh, I find that helps to prevent popping or pop, 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 that you'll hear in a lot of videos. Uh, and uh, it just seems to flow a lot easier and it's not super loud. Uh, starting and stopping recording. Whenever I start a recording, I like to hit the start button, give it two or three seconds, then say my intro, and do the same thing anytime you screw up or at the end. And the reason you do that is very, very simple. You want to be able to uh, fix any editing mistakes, but you don't want to be cut off. And nothing worse than saying, all right, thanks very much, click, hitting the stop button. You want to give it a few seconds. That way, the audio can pick up with the video and vice versa. And that's really what I do, guys, to make these videos. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult just a few minor tweaks bring you major results now if you like the backgrounds that I've shown you in the presentation today let me show you exactly how to get them okay they're actually part of a total marketing graphics toolkit it's a package that I personally picked up and invested in that I really like it and of course it includes the PowerPoint backgrounds that I showed you earlier the easiest way to go them uh, go get them is to go to www.timothycastleman.com graphics pack there will actually be a link below this video you can just click on it